Okay, good morning. Happy Monday. This week we are doing another math mystery and it is on decimals. So this is the case of the disappearing donuts. Something strange has been going on across the town of Manhattan. There have been several reports about donuts disappearing into thin air, literally. While it definitely would make Manhattan a healthier place, people still should be allowed to have a choice when it comes to eating a special treat. David, a victim who has experienced this with over a dozen donuts, stated, quote, I'd have a donut in my hand and before my eyes it would just disappear into nothing. It's happened so many times I'm thinking I'm just going to have to switch to muffins instead. This is surely some sort of horrible magic trick. Doug, the king of the donut diner, complained, quote, This sort of magical mischief has been ruining my business. Customers are no longer returning because they're afraid their donut will disappear. Whoever is behind this must be stopped. It is clear that someone with magical abilities is behind this nuisance. So an investigation has begun to search for this mystical disappearing donut trickster. All right. Math detective needed to find who is responsible for these disappearing donuts. The police have made a list of all the possible magical suspects. However, they need a super detective with math skills to help them solve this case. Working with decimals are a key skill needed to crack the five clues. Let's hope this trickster can be found so that people in Manhattan can enjoy donuts again without any fear of losing them. Okay. Now, here is your possible suspect sheet. If you do not have a printer, which I don't, so I'm going to show you today how to figure out the clues without a printer, but you will need to maybe um, save this as a PDF, and if you have a PDF editor, you can cross them out on your computer or just write down all of this, but you are going to need to start crossing off the suspect sheet. So if you don't have a printer, you're probably just going to want to at least write the character names and then you can cross them off as you see that which ones you don't, um, don't have. Okay. Solve the clues, cross the suspects off the list until only one remains. So the last character remaining is responsible for the disappearing donuts. All right, let's look at clue one. So as you can see, I have a blank page over here that I'm going to write my answers on, or I'm gonna type my answers on because I don't have a printer. So you don't have to write all of this down. Okay, let's read the directions. Crack the code. Now, if you do have a printer, just print it, and then it's super easy to just cross it off and do it that way. Um, but I know not all of us have printers, and we can just do it on a piece of paper on the computer, or, as you guys know, I sometimes have just a notepad next to my computer and I could write them down there too, whichever is the easiest for you. All right, crack the code by first looking at each box pair of decimals. In each box, cross out the lesser value, the one the alligator does not eat. You're going to cross off the lesser value. Circle the greater value. Keep the letter of the greater value decimal to reveal a message at the end. So over here on my piece of paper, I'm just gonna type whichever one's greater. So point, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. You always start with your whole number and comparing, and it doesn't look like we have very, oh, we have a few whole numbers down at the bottom, but otherwise, you're gonna go to your tenths place. So I know 0 0.3 is bigger than 0 0.2, so we're going to keep the L. So we know we have this over here, A, and then I'm going to keep the L. Now the next one, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, keep going. 0 0.06, 0 0.07, it doesn't matter what's after that, we know 0 0.07 is bigger than 0 0.06, so we're gonna cross off the N and keep the L. Enter, because that's the end of our line. Okay, we have our first word. First of all, does it make sense? Yes, all is a word. Okay, we're good. If it said A-L-N, you'd be like, hmm, no, that's not a word. I need to go back and check and see what I did wrong. Okay, next line, 1.0, 1.9. I know 1.9 is way bigger than 1.0, so I'm gonna cross out 1.0 and I'm going to keep the W. Okay, we'll do one more. 5.4, 5.4, keep going. 
5.44, 5.45, barely 5.45 is bigger. I'm going to keep the I. So you guys see how you can do it without um, writing anything down, okay? Now, today you're going to do clue one and clue two. So let's look at clue two. Crack the code by completing the multiplication and division. Sorry, I'm just going to grab a new sheet of paper here. So I'm ready for my next clue. Okay. Crack the code by completing the multiplication and division questions below. Use your answers to match and place the letters in the boxes to reveal the clue. Put the letter in every box that it matches your answer in. There may be more than one. The first one has been done for you. This one is going to be harder without printing. But again, I would probably just write down these boxes and fill them in as I go. Okay. So I would do one, two, three, four, five, six spaces for the first one. See what I'm doing? The next line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it is possible, but it's gonna take you a little bit a little bit longer. Okay, now 1.22. Okay, they've done the first one for you. 8.79 is in. They filled in their ends for 8.79. 1.22 times 100. I know when I multiply by a 10 or a 100, which all of these are, they're either multiplication or division of 10 or 100. I'm just going to move my decimal. The number of places is the zero. So multiplied by 100, two zeros, bloop, bloop, 122. So over here, I might put 122 is A, okay? And let's see, 4.6 times 1,000, three zeros in 1,000. I'm going to bloop one and then bloop, bloop two more. So I have 46 with two zeros is an I. Do you guys see what I'm doing? Now here's a division, wah, wah. We gotta go left instead of right because it's going to be smaller. Same premise, you got two zeros. You're gonna take your decimal and go bloop, bloop, two to the left. It's gonna plop down right there. So we have 6.421 is a V. Again, we're dividing by a 10, so we're gonna move it bloop, one to the left, it plops it right here. 30.971 is a T. After I have solved all of these, then I can go back and fill in my clue to get clue two. All right, if you have any questions about either of these, please reach out to Ms. Barnes, myself, or Ms. Morgan, and we will help you figure it out. If you need this printed out, which I've just kind of shown you that you don't have to have it printed out. Um, if you need it printed out, here, let me just show you. 122 is A. So as I look over here, here's 122 in my second place. So I'm going to put my A here and get rid of that line. Where's my next 122? See, be careful because those have decimals. It's way down here. So I would have to come way down here and do a couple more lines of, of spaces and then fill in another A. Okay, do you guys see what's happening? Okay, if you have any questions, if you need help, reach out. You can always just do this on a sheet of paper and do your clues on a paper. That would be way easier. Um, Okay, if you have any questions, reach out. Today you're doing clue one and two, and good luck. You can do this.